Discussion about which cities the third rock has been going on for years. But I think with Bulgaria storing its empire and I think most of the Eastern Roman Empire lands, we can safely say that Sofia is the third Rome. And you literally cannot deny it. You may or may not remember when I said I was originally gonna play Zvino Bulgaria, but that part is just boring. But now the Zvino part has some extra bonuses called New Bulgar Empire. Well I guess we can restore Yugoslavia. But then again, Bulgarian Empire. And as always, in Kaiserreich, you need to wait for the story to progress to click any of the, you know, fun focuses. Eh, I guess reforming the army is fun enough. Who's the funny man who made Kurgeli a foreign infrastructure state? If you've been to Kurgeli, you will know that totally not a foreign infrastructure state. And that it's filled with Turks. That's under Bulgaria. Long story short, we won the Weltkrieg, and now we hate Germany. Eh, that's kind of bad. Come on, I'm gonna get the stock exchange crash event soon so I can progress to the story. Anytime now. Nearly there. Ah, here it is. And now we can actually progress to the story. Yay! Oh, wow, Marte, one of the most unique Bulgarian holidays. Which <laughs> That's it. Thank you for listening to me. Veterans from the Great War are complaining that we're not really paying them their patience, but they can go cry about it. Just go find the work, bro. Nobody cares about your PTSD. Nobody, goddamn, gives a fuck about the factory worker's condition. Just shut the fuck up. Workers, man, they never stop striking, doing dumb shit. Okay, we're gonna lose on some conditions, fine. Alright, this is just not fair. You have decisions, you can click and you get like one factory for 60, like, no, for 30 political power. Actually, crap. Oh no, the Belgrad Congress wants to destroy Bulgaria, what could I do? Four Balkan Wars has come to us and I shall defend the country. Oh no, the Serbians have nearly reached Sofia and the Ottomans are declaring me, what should I do? The civil war in Mexico reminds me of something. The Mexican focus tree got a huge mongoose rework, so if you want me to see play Mexico, how about 350 lives? Ah, sadly, we have lost the Balkan War and we shall surrender. We have pissed out the Balkan Pact, but the Turkish still want to fight. Current record is Bulgaria 1, Turkey 0. Bleh, liberals in power. Oh, nice invasion, Turkey. Almost if you didn't get encircled in the first, like, three days of the war. After our tragic loss in the Balkan War, we have four options for who should lead the new defeatist government. And I think the military union's venom should be the guys. Ah, the real shit. Not the Balkan viewers may remember that in the first Balkan war, Odrin, aka Edirne, was besieged by the Bulgarians. And Odrin was one of the castles which was believed to be unsiegeable. So yeah, we just sieged twice in the span of 20 years. Turkish people haven't got really better at military. The Turkish people, I just took Constantinople, aka Tsarigrad. So um, how about you just surrender? Okay, this mod is amazing. When I took Odrin, it got renamed to Odrin from Edirne. Epic. Well, we signed peace with the Turkish to go, to go get Odrin back because both sides decided that we don't want to fight anymore and I'm kind of bored too. There's no real actual question for leadership because of course we're gonna have the Christo Vukov to lead us. He's the Bulgarian Napoleon after all. Another thing that I just realized that they made a democratic work for Germany and I just want to ask the Kaiser Direct developers why the fuck they made a democratic tree in this mod. Like, I'm based. I don't play democratic countries. As a matter of fact, I don't even live in a democratic country. Bhutan is literally a more democratic country than Bulgaria. Bhutan is a goddamn monarchy. I swear, every single time this event pops up about the something something semi is Burmese war, it always gets bigger. The number always gets bigger. Ah, the fate of the monarchy. Well, basically, Wukov has a sympathy for the monarchy. And, I mean, let's say I'm gonna, you know, make, make this guy king. No, bro. Look at this dude. Top of his head! Nah, bro, I'm turning back time. Nah, nah, bro, look of hysterical. Movement is Republican. Constellation of power over Andrianopol? Do you mean Odrin? Guys, real developers, did you guys really write Andrianopol, not Odrin? Yeah, I'm gonna have to report that as a bug. <laughs> That's gonna teach him a strongly worded bug report. And I mean, you didn't see that, but they just clicked the focus, bo the Bulgarian race. Yep, we're being very racist, and you can't stop me. What? The Ottoman Empire just joined the Sarajevo Accord. Oh, eh? Nobody talk about where the Jews went. Yo, remember this kid the first guy which I decided to not pick to be the leader? Well, I need him for uh, the new Bulgar Empire, so let's turn back time again. <laughs> Yep, this monarchy thing is looking very good. Welcome kids to the show where we form random mass empires. Last time we formed the British Empire, and today we're gonna be trying our best to form the Bulgar Empire. Isn't it funny how it finished the focus for the tank research while making a tank? No, it really is not. This is gonna be my tank, I don't know if it's any good or not, 
but oh, the name is very special. I'm gonna call it Tankche Vichro Gonche. Bulgarian will know. Remember when we lost the fourth Balkan War? Uh, yeah, how about we start the fifth Balkan War just to try our luck? Okay, guys, let's go to war! Not only we have regained Macedonia, but also we have encircled the damn Serbians in it. Uh, time to commit a small genocide on the Serbians. <laughs> uh, fine, the Serbians have cut. Now I have to deal only with the Romanians, bro. The Romanians may have pushed through Varna and took a lot of the northern territory. But you know, it's fine, the front is stabilized, Serbia is under my control, we got this. Ah, finally, after some time of me building tanks, it, I have all the tanks needed to build one tank division. And I'm gonna have to try it out now. Pentru Zatiev will be the leader of my tanks. I'll have max planning bonus and max everything. If this tank is actually good, it will show now. Yep, it's absolutely amazing. And it's only because it's Bulgarian, not because... You know, this focus is extremely overpowered, they gave me 6 research slots. Bro, I didn't even show you the genocide below Varna. I'm so sorry, man, next time. Now, let's see, can we cross the Danube with this tank? Take a second to appreciate all the dead people who died for Bulgaria. Okay, we're done. N now, let's get on with the video. Nah, bro, this tank is actually goddamn disgusting. You right-click anything and just dies. Like, look at this shit, a thousand soft attacks. This is a fucking crazy for 1940. Have you guys heard of the 1940, 21st of May Budapest massacre? No, you must really have not been paying attention in the history books. Rip bozos. Greece seem to be sitting on some historical Bulgarian lands, and I think we should declare war on them. And oh uh, yeah, I know that I don't taunt, but Mama Ray is no pussy. Mama Ray is a soldier. Okay, we're getting closer to the Bulgarian dream. No liberation for Serbia and no liberation for Romania, as always. I was planning to attack Turkey soon, but uh, George is doing pretty good work on them, so I'm just gonna let him finish up. Time for some good old Bulgarization. Referring to the map of the Bulgarian Empire, I need to annex Albania to finish it. This is my new tank with the advanced medium tank chassis. And we're gonna call it the brother of Tank Chevichugonch. I'm pretty sure that the Bulgarization part of the focus tree is literally just a big meme. There's literally no point of doing this, literally only gives you debuffs. Looking at the map, I think I need to own Transylvania, so let's go. I got so bored that I researched the railway gun. The Bulgarian language exams, you say. The things I'm gonna have in a week. Ah, fun. But I don't care because right now I'm playing Hearts Fire. Yep, it happened. Georgia fully annexed Turkey. I didn't ever think I would be saying that. Because the Hungarians and our Mongol brothers, we're gonna actually release them. So apparently when Turkey gets annexed and becomes communist, their attack changes. And now my war goal on the Ottoman Empire does jack shit. So I guess I'm gonna just do it the good old way. It's another resettlement of Muslims in Bulgaria. But I believe there's one very big Muslim country which needs resettlement near the border. How convenient. Now that I've crossed the Bosphorus, it's time to do a small amount of trolling around Tarigrad. Bro, bro, I made the, the funny meme, the railway gun, like I said, it's Bosphorus. Honestly, the railway gun is my one of my favorite memes added in the new part. And of course, we must give it an amazing name, like Peshu Waka. Trolling complete. Alright, I'm gonna be the first one to say it, but the Hearts of Fire and Trey AI. Not the greatest, because when I click them to assign them to my tanks, they have been continuously going to Burgas and then to Tsarigrad and then back to Burgas and then back to Tsarigrad. Now it's time for the second biggest circumvent in Hearts of Fire in history. I'm gonna go down to the coast with my tanks. They circle all of the eastern side of Turkey. What can I say? Just build different. Motherfucker, I just noticed why are there so many goddamn villages in Armenia? Yep, that's gonna be a lot of colonizing to do. With the taking of Tsarigrad, I think it's time to proclaim a third Bulgarian Empire. Because we all know that third time's the charm. Hehehe, <laughs> we have taken. Again, can we stop with the grammatical mistakes? We have taken Tsarigrad, not Constantinople. But what is an empire without colonizing random Middle Eastern and African nations, really? We might as well get a small amount of empire. I mean, more than we already have. But that was simple enough. Tanks going through innocent nations? I feel like this has already been done before. Mm. Maybe just deja vu. Yeah, I definitely think this now is a good amount of empire. Not too big. But still pretty big. I believe it's this time of day when I tell you to watch my Joseph Goebbels video right there. And also, bye.